Hey guys, over the next few weeks I'm going to do some stuff with the Combinator and this week I'm going to start with something really simple which is basically just combining sounds. And when I first started record, when I opened up a Combinator, I was like, how come my sounds are not combining? It's a Combinator. Combining. It makes sense. Well, apparently there's a little bit more to it. Uh, the first thing you want to do is open up a Combinator and inside your Combinator you're going to open up a Mixer 14.2, the two most basic things. I'm just going to close that because we don't need it right away. And then I'm going to create a Thor. And I don't want to use the Epic Poly, so I'm just going to browse for a new patch and go with Big Club Lead. And then under that I'm going to open up a Maelstrom. And instead of using Vesper, I am going to come down here and open up something called Japan Pluck. There it is. So, together, they're routed through this mixer. And the mixer is what brings the sounds together. And before, when I was creating combinators, I wasn't adding the mixer. I just expected the combinator to combine the sounds, but that's not how it works. So underneath this, you can create all of your effects, and I'm going to go with the digital reverb and digital delay line so I held down shift so when I flip the right around none of these auto routed and that's what I want I take this left from the digital reverb and take it up to one and two on the aux and then for the return I'm gonna bring it down put it in the output Do the same with the other, which is my digital delay line. So when I flip it back around, you can see reverb 1 and delay 1. So when I play my sound, uh, maybe I want to put some reverb. And then over here, I'm going to put some digital delay and my Japan book. Get a lot in there. There we go. That's a little drastic, but I'm showing you what you can do with it. That's a basic thing of a combinator, just combining devices. Don't forget the mixer, that's the main thing.